I've done was I took a fresh ear of corn and cooked it. Now what you do is when you're cooking corn, you put the corn in the water and you boil it together. Once you poke it and your fork goes through with a little pop, it's ready. That or you smell corn. Because most of the time, you'll know your food is ready when you smell it. And you really can't, you really can't undercook corn that much. Then to this, I'm going to add some black beans. These have been drained and rinsed from the can. Now what we have here is some fresh red peppers that have been roasted in the oven. You cover them with olive oil, and then you just roast them until the skin blackens. Then you peel the skin, and voila! You have these beautiful peppers that you usually buy in a jar, and I'm just dicing them up, and they're going to add some beautiful color to our salad. You know, whenever you make anything and you vary the colors, you know that you're getting a nutritional balance. However, please keep everything as small as possible and all the same size as each other. Then you get this nice combination that's all going to go in your mouth and blend flavors together. Okay, we have scallions that are already cut up. Wasn't that nice? I didn't have to cut them. And we're going to add some basil to this. Now I'm telling you, you can do anything you want. I happen to be putting this combination together because I like it. Corn goes very well with lobster, so let's say corn's your base. You can add whatever you want. You want to add tomatoes, you want to add parsley instead, you want to add chickpeas, what, whatever you want to add. This is my salad today. I hope you can enjoy the same thing. Okay, now we're going to make the dressing for the salad. We're going to start with some olive oil. And you want to do as, you know, as much as you think you're going to need for the amount of salad you have. I'm going to use this orange, and we're going to take the juice from the orange. What you need to do is just poke it with a fork, and you just poke it. And you want almost the same amount of juice as you have for the olive oil. We're going to do a touch of balsamic vinegar, just a touch to sweeten it up a bit. Whoops, too much, better hold my hand, it's starting to tick. You know that show? I bet nobody knows that show. Okay. And some dried mustard. And now we're just going to whip that up with a fork. Okay, we're going to put this dressing on. And you can't dress a salad like this too soon. You actually want it to marinate a little while the rest of the dishes are cooking. So we're going to toss that. Now remember, this is cooking for bachelors. So this is cooking for one or two people. You can cook as much as you want. If you want to have a lot of salad, if you think this will be great, this is something that will last for the next day. None of these ingredients will go bad. In fact, as it marinates, the flavor is even going to get better.